right, so this is my setup for astrophotography. I've got my Zenith Star Telescope with a camera on it. There's a field flattener in here that makes the stars sharp even at the edges of the uh, photo. I've got a dew heater to make sure that no condensation gets on the lens when the temperatures start to drop. Um, the whole thing is mounted on a tracker. This rotates to counteract the motion of the Earth. As the Earth rotates, of course, we, we, it seems like our stars are going up in the sky here and the sun is setting here. Well, this will counter it so those stars will stay, or the camera will stay exactly locked on each star that I, I pointed at. The counterweight makes sure that the, everything stays in balance and that the tracker tracks as accurately as I can. One of the last things I'll need to do is get this aligned exactly at the North Star so that that point of rotation is perfect. That's a little bit tricky and right now I don't see the North Star out there yet. It's still a little bit too light but within a couple minutes we'll be able to do that. Without tracking, if you leave the camera open, the shutter open for 15 seconds you'll be okay but going longer than that you'll start to notice that the stars will trail. dark enough in the, in the where the North Star is it is um, dark enough where Mars is visible so I'm going to use that to get a rough focus on my camera here that I can put over the edge of the telescope that'll actually give diffraction spikes and those spikes will help to make it as sharp as possible. So that is built right in here. If I take that off, you can see kind of like rainbow spikes sticking out of the edges. to get it so all those lines line up exactly in the middle. And so I go back and forth until I get it exactly correct. And that's looking pretty good to me. I can take a test image and then zoom in on that test image. Now, with the camera in focus and the mount correctly polar aligned, we're ready for yet another beautiful night of photography under the stars.